today, just meeting a few people at PACT who have family members in prison, I've realised very strongly what they have to go through, um, the stigma they have to deal with, the difficulty they have in uh, keeping in touch with their family members once they're in prison. I've seen how difficult it is and how hard it is and how important it is for them to try and keep in contact with um, the family member who's in prison. Because if they don't keep that contact, then the family member just disappears, um, they break off a relationship. And this whole complex area of family relationships, once someone has done something wrong and has been convicted, is terribly, terribly important for us. If we, anyone who believes in prisoners' rehabilitation, in trying to make sure that people, once they have served their sentence, can go back to um, a settled life, a dignified life, um, a working life, then the family is so important and the family must not be ruptured. So I've learned about the real problems they have here and how important something like PACT is to, um, to the people I've spoken to today. They just really don't often have anywhere else to go to. There's no one within the justice system that's helping them out. They need to have someone they can go to um, and discuss these problems and also meet uh, others with exactly the same problems. And that's what I sense today. And that's where PACT is really important. And I can see that these are people with frustrations. These are people almost in tears about what's happened. But the only thing they can do is share with others their experiences and get some sympathy and some um, empathy back. And that's what PACT is doing. So I'm, I'm very impressed by what I've seen today. I'm impressed by PACT's work. And I think if uh, anyone out there wants to consider doing some real help in an area where help is so desperately needed, then support PACT.